that um, we are now at Hunter's location, uh, his home of residence at the homeless shelter. So we're going to talk to the sheep and figure out um, what's going on with him. You walk forward and the receptionist becomes quickly aware of your presence. She doesn't give you a glare though. Instead, she offers you a gentle smile. Which I feel like, you know, where it's a glare or a gentle smile is also kind of cool. Like, okay, I have to be nice, but like, I really don't want you here. All right, um, good afternoon. Is there anything I can help you with? You're pleasantly surprised by her kindness and politely return the smile. So I get to smile with you. Yes. I'm um, looking for a wolf. His name is Hunter. But I'm not sure I am at the right place, actually. She adjusts her glasses and looks to you dead in the eyes. You're in the right place, dear. Room 301. I haven't seen him come out of there today. Thanks. Uh, can I just go? I don't need, like, a hall pass or something. Of course. The stairs are on your left. Okay. Thanks again. With that, you head upstairs. Room 301. There it is. You stop right in front of it and begin rubbing your hands together nervously. Come on, keep yourself together. All right, breathe in, out, woosa, all that good stuff. You take a deep breath, knock on the door. No answer. I wonder if you lay your hand on the door knob and slowly turn it. The door is not locked. I shouldn't really get inside like that. However, I'm kind of worried. You cross your arms and your foot begins tapping on the floor. All right, I'm going in. You slowly push the door open and step inside. The first thing you see is the wolf laying on his belly and snoring softly. Okay, he's just sleeping. All right, I was about to be like, those of you who walk in and see like a horrible, horrible sight, cause no, I don't want to see that. You head towards the bed, and once close enough, you notice patches of wet fur under his eyes. Your heart tightens in your chest as soon as you realize Hunter was crying. Why was he crying? For like multiple reasons. Should I him up? Um. You really shouldn't even know that we're honestly here, so we're gonna let him sleep. You carefully sit on the bed and let him sleep. He's cute even when he sleeps. You reach your hand out and tenderly wipe the tears off of his eyes. It's a bit better. The wolf murders in his sleep, and that makes you giggle. It's the cutest sound. Before you have time to react, the wolf pulls you into a hug. Is he awake? He's still asleep, and his strong arm is softly wrapped around your waist. Your face only a couple inches from his. Oh, this is gonna be a really bad time when he wakes up. Your heart is in your chest, but you don't move. What do I do now? You just hang out. You slowly try to wiggle your way out of his embrace, but it's no use. Hunter? His name comes out in a whisper, however, the wolf's eyes steadily open up. Um, your heart won't stop hammering as Hunter looks at you for a few moments before swiftly moving away and setting himself up. Your body jolts backwards and you land on the carpet of the floor. Carly? What are you doing here? You clumsily stand up and look the other way, fairly embarrassed. Um, Rapper didn't give us an address or anything. <laughs> I didn't see you at school this morning and you weren't returning calls or texts, so people got worried. Oh, sorry about that. I wasn't feeling great. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. I just came out of it, you know, nowhere. I was kind of worried. 
Although I can't say I mind it. Uh, it's okay. I'm sorry for holding you like that. I thought I was dreaming. I wonder what he was dreaming about. Oh, it's no problem. Well, now you know where I live. The wolf scratches his left ear and his gaze drifts away. And I was a bit surprised at first, but I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, it's concerning. You don't see anything wrong with me living in a homeless shelter? Why would I, um, and who am I to judge? We all hit a rough patch in life at least once. Though I do feel sorry for him, I wonder what happened. Hmm. How do you know I, where I lived anyway? You tap gingerly on your lower lip, thinking carefully on what to say next. Uh, someone gave it to me, but don't ask who. This is entirely my doing. I was just worried. Okay, I won't. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Not at all. Were you crying? The wolf's jaw drops open and quickly crosses his arms as his cheeks redden. I, I wasn't crying. No, man. Yes, you were. Okay, okay. You said you weren't feeling great. What's up? His ears tilt back and his brows snap together. The room is filled with an awkward silence as he seems to be pondering how to respond. Nothing in particular. I'm just feeling a little down is all. I see. Well, I bought us some breakfast on my way to school. You take the paper bag out of your backpack and hand it to the wall. It's probably cold now, but it still smells delicious. He timidly grabs the bag, and as he looks at you, you notice a shimmer in his eyes. He sees on the verge of tears. Is everything okay? Wolf quickly wipes his eyes with an arm, takes a deep breath. Yeah, I'm good. It's just that this is so kind of you. We barely know each other, yet you brought me food. Um, I was just passing by this little cafe and that lovely smell caught me off guard. I couldn't help myself, but I needed to try the base fake app. Mm -hmm. You didn't need to buy me anything, though. Your cheeks slowly turn into a light shade of red as you avert your eyes from him. I just wanted to. You should eat it before it gets any colder. Oh, shoot. I keep doing that. <laughs> You see his tail swaying back and forth behind him as he opens the paper bag and looks inside. Mmm, steak rolls. I love these. Well, those. There's two in the bag. Are they both for me? You might as well let them eat both. I'll be fine. Mm, I've already had lunch. Thanks. Don't mind if I do then. And they will contain the excitement, the wolf gulps down both rows in a matter of seconds. You give at the sight, however your stomach growls. Are you sure you ate? Yes, seeing you eating give me, you know, an appetite after all. Mmm, okay. They were delicious by the way, I'm so thankful. No sweat, I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, what did I miss? Oh, here, I took some notes. You grab the notebook from your backpack and hand it over. History of Beast Man, it was an interesting lesson. You know, pretty, um, pretty informative. 
Hunter Timely grabs the notebook and lays it on his nightstand. Thank you. Have you learned anything useful from it? Yeah, but it isn't important. You look down to your shoes, trying to hide the sadness that just hit you. Okay. The wolf puts his index finger under your chin and lifts your head up. It is important. Please tell me. It's just that... The professor explained that Beastman appeared around 200 years ago. If that is true, then all the people I might have known are gone by now. You try to sound indifferent, but your voice comes out shaky. It's not a big deal. There's nothing I can do about it anyway. Before you know it, you're enveloped in a warm and gentle hug. Your heart skips a beat. Yeah, as you feel your paws softly stroking your back. Well, his paws, not our paws, his paws. I'm sorry. Tears well up in your eyes. You turn your head and lay your cheek on his shoulder. They'll find out what happened to you, okay? The wolf nuzzles your neck as you try to, you know, hard to keep it together. You think only of his embrace, and for a few precious moments, you forget about your trouble. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Can we stay like this for a few more seconds? He doesn't say anything. Instead, you feel his arm holding you tighter against him. You can see his tail wagging, which makes you quietly chuckle. I'm better now. He slowly releases you from the hug and steps back. Do you have class this afternoon? I do, but not important. Just Jim. You should get going then. Lunch break is almost over. And I gotta spend time with you if you don't mind. A shy smile appears on his face and you spot him blushing. Hmm. Cute. No, no, I, I don't mind. I just don't know what we what we doing. Hmm. You seem to like drawing. Why don't you do that? I'll be happy just to watch you. You would? Of course. We can go anywhere you want. The wolf turns around and grabs his backpack. However, he steps in his tracks when he looks inside of it. Well, stops. Um, what, you get a pencil or something? Yesterday, I went back to school after you left. My sketchbook is under my desk. It's not an issue. We'll go grab it. Buster was someone looking for you this morning. Oh, yeah, um... Glenn Felix, whatever his name is. Oh, I find it hard to believe considering I don't talk to anybody. Hmm, it was a fox. Ring the bell. Hunter's eyes widen and both of his brows are raised. Fox, could it be? No, we haven't talked to forever. So you do know a fox then? Hmm. His name is Flynn. We were pals. I knew it. I knew it was Flynn. I'm like, I really haven't seen him that often, but for some reason, I like always remember his name. Crazy to me. Worth? Yeah. I used to have a crush on him, and when I opened up to him, he just disappeared. You can do better. <laughs> you can do so much better. That's awful. Why would you do that? All he said was that he fell for someone else, which is fine. But the way he just vanished hurt me. He was my only friend. Maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. I mean, anytime you do something like that, you always got to prepare for um, the friendship to end. He stepped forward and laid a hand on his shoulder. 
Hey, it's not your fault. How could you know he reacted like that? You're right. I'm supposed to have a new friend now. That's great. Do I know them? Go through those and pop your nose lightly. It's you, silly. You're my new friend. You cross your arms, um, your chest, and point. Hmm, didn't even cross my mind. And well, we should get going with them. Ah, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. All right, you walk toward the school is short, and there are not many beastmen around. Most people must be in class or at the gym. Yeah, are you sure you don't mind missing gym class? Not at all, I can always do that another time. As you approach the building, you see a polar bear having a chat with a fox. So, like the Riflin. That's the fox we were discussing earlier. Yes, that's him. You seem to be busy talking to Hector. You walk closer and the two spot you. Hector waves his hand while Flynn crosses his arms. I'm sorry, but Flynn's a little bitch. I'm sorry. I just I just get a little little bitch energy from I, I I can't. I can't I can't work with that. Hey guys, how are you? We're good, thanks. How about yourself? Great. Uh, did you enjoy the class this morning? Yeah, I really did. It was very interesting. Glad to hear it. And how are you, Hunter? You wait for him to respond, but it never happens. You elbow his side lightly, hoping to untangle his tongue. I am good. <laughs> I need to have a chat with you, Hunter. This is not the right time. Does he want to discuss what happened between them? I suppose, well, sure hope not. Do you guys need a moment alone? E. No, there's nothing we need to talk about. Whoa, so much tension. Ooh. Right, uh, we need to get your sketchbook anyway. Sure, follow the human. That will get you far. See? See? See what I'm saying? Oh, the wolf moves so quickly that you barely have time to notice him pitting the fox against the gate. Wow, okay. Even the polar bear is petrified, no words escape his maw. You better watch your mouth, Flynn. Hunter steps back, releasing Flynn, who is visibly shaken. Let's just go, Charlie. All right. Sorry, guys. I'll see you later. Wave your head goodbye and follow Hunter inside. Oh, that's crazy. I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, but that's crazy. The classroom is empty since gym class was about to start and the wolf only takes a few seconds to retrieve his sketchbook. Are you okay? I am now. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm getting used to the beast man bad mouth of me, but what you did to Flynn? His ears and tail slowly lower as he crosses his arms. I'm really sorry. I just snapped when I heard him say that. My blood was boiling in my veins. He was thinking pat his head lightly and his eyes instantly on yours. Mm, it's okay. Sometimes you gotta beat the bitch up. Will smile softly and his tail starts swaying back and forth behind him. Okay. He scratches his left ear and heads towards the door. Are we going? You nod your head and follow him out. 
Are we going anywhere specific? Mm, there's a little hill not far from here. You can see most of the city from there. Sounds great. I just need to make a quick stop at the cafe first. You are now reminded that you had no food all day and your stomach starts protesting. Alright. I'll only be a minute. Hunter into the cafe, you wait for him outside the door. You're not sure they're eating something. Look down your stomach and rub it in circles. I'm sorry, you'll have to wait until dinner. I can't skip any meals, I just can't. I can't, I can't function without food, I can't. Carly, who are you talking to? Oh yeah, his ears, he can hear really well. Your face set to flame, you didn't notice he was there. Uh, no one? You got what you needed? Mm. He hands you a paper bag, which you grab and looking confused. What's this? Sausage roll. I would have bought a couple, but my money is tight. Your eyes tremble as you stare at the bag in your hand. He doesn't have anything yet, he buys you food. You really didn't have to. I didn't, but I wanted to. He walks ahead without giving you a chance to respond. You follow close behind, you grab the roll and give it a bite. All right, park is quiet, barely anyone is around at this time of day. I guess we will save right here. You know, we have a better time of Jenny. Go back to the title screen. Um, yeah, we made good time with that. Um, so yeah, this is Hunter, day three, part two. Um, so we still fully know exactly what's going on with Hunter and why he's, you know, upset. Um, I don't feel that it's deeper than what you, you know, who's watching or what I initially think, but um, we'll find that out hopefully in the next one. If not, it's still a very interesting story. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video, um, you know, and this game, of course. You know, if y'all want to play for yourself, I always link it below, um, such and such. But, um, you know, like the video, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, share it, if you know, share if you want to. Um, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all next time.